Hello, welcome to another edition of the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing the third review of the three records that came for this shipment of the acoustic sounds, which is going to be Hootie and, Hootie and the Blowfish. I'm going to open this up, drop it on the turntable, we're going to listen to it together. I'll give you my assessment, what I think. Uh, if you missed the last two videos, I've done the Crosby, Stills, and Nash review before this one. This sounds fantastic. People that are into Crosby, Stills, and Nash are really going to love, I think, the way this came out. It sounds really good. And then the video before that, I did the Matchbox 20 review. Fortunately, had a warped record on that one, but we'll be looking to get a replacement. But this sounds really good as well. I think people that are into Matchbox 20 are going to want to get their hands on it. The vocals sound fantastic. And not being a huge fan of Matchbox 20, I actually really enjoyed listening to this album, and I'll be going back listening to it again. So um, just a little review there. Today, however, an album that I had no interest in, and again, I subscribed to the full series, so I'm getting all 75 titles of the Atlantic 75th anniversary. Uh, I wanted all of them because a lot of them I didn't have, for one. There's a great mix of genre in this series. So you've got jazz, you've got rock, you've got uh, rhythm and blues. Um, and you've got a few modern titles. And this is not one I would have picked. I've never been a huge Hootie and the Blowfish fan. However, this is one of the greatest selling albums of all time. And of course, the hits, Hold My Hand, Let Her Cry, Only Want to Be With You. These have been played on the radio and just everybody's heard them thousands of times, right? And when this came out, which was... 1994, I was into blues, Clapton, heavy rock, different things like that. And this was not even on my radar. Still, I'm not very excited about it. This is probably one of the titles if I was buying them individually, I wouldn't buy just because I'm not a huge fan. That being said, I'm going to open it up. We're going to play it. We're going to listen to it. I'm going to give it a chance and actually see how it sounds. Um, this was recorded at NRG Recording Studios in North Hollywood, Los Angeles between November of 93 and March of 94. This is mastered from the original analog master tape and pressed at QRP. Um, Ryan K. Smith mastered this. So without further ado, I'm going to open this up. We're going to listen to it together. Most other people aren't going to do that. I, I'm just a fan here. I want to share these records with you. They get demonetized. I don't. doesn't bother me. And I hope that the artists get paid for, for, for their music being on these. I have no problem with that. Um, let's open this up and let's check it out. And then we'll go through just a little bit more about the album, a little bit more of the history. Again, all of these have been fantastic as far as the, the jackets go, the tip-on jackets, the wonderful printing. I um, have not seen what this even looks like. Gatefold. This thing has sold, this thing is 21 time platinum album, double diamond. Um, again, the 19th best selling album of all time in the US. So a lot of people liked it. Of course, this thing's probably made them millions of dollars. So let's pull this first record out. Uh, and I'll wipe it off and we'll play it. Again, it comes with this new uh, advertisement in here in the insert that explains this series same as the rest uh qrp sleeve and it's got a different uh atlantic album on it it's got a black a black uh label so let's take a look at it here when i pull it out so i'm going to wipe it off we're going to drop it on there we're going to listen to the first maybe two songs on this and then i'm going to put the second record on we'll listen to that so if you want to hang out and um i'll uh, give you my opinion as i listen to it on how it sounds and uh i'm going to try to just be objective about how it sounds since i already know that i'm not a huge fan of the music it's a little saccharine for my tastes um but we'll see how it sounds you know you can always appreciate uh, the production and, and, and the the performances on these albums, even if you're not into the music, um, I can always sit down and listen to a recording and at least 
gather something from the recording, how it was recorded and so on and so forth. So I've only heard this album over the airwaves. I've never had it on CD. I've never owned it. Um, and I've only heard the hits on it. So here we go. I'm going to put on side A, Hannah Jane, and then we'll listen to at least part of Hold My Hand since everybody knows that. And we'll see how it sounds. Again, all these are 45 RPM. We'll check and make sure everything is flat. And this looks like it's flat. No warping issues. Sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a good pressing. Everything is sounds very clear. Vocals sound pretty good. See how the next song sounds hold my hand um of course all these songs were written by mark bryan dean felber darius rucker um mark ryan plays electric and acoustic guitars vocal percussion some mandolin even piano on one of the tunes dean felber bass guitar clavinet vocals of course darius rucker vocals acoustic guitar some percussion and jim sonefield on drums and percussion Additional musicians, David Crosby, background vocals on Hold My Hand. So let's see how that sounds. Cool acoustic over here. Sounds really nice. With a little love and some tenderness. You 
go for me. For me, it, to me, it lacks a little bit of energy or something. Okay, maybe it's just because I, I'm not a fan of the music, but. like the vocals and guitar should be a little bit louder against against the bass and the drums it's like you don't have that for me that chorus just sounds not very inspiring or something about it is not is hard is 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 lively i think as it should it should sound in my opinion Sounds very clear. It's a, but it kind of lacks a punch or something. I'm gonna go ahead and put a song on on the second record and play that. Um, you know, this is one of those records that, again I would not have purchased. Um, So I'll put Drowning on, I'll put that on. But to me, it's just kind of not very punchy or... Uh, during that course, there should be something more. I think the guitars or something should be a little bit more. There should. It, it sounds like it's just flat there. Anyway, that's my opinion. So let me go ahead and put the, the other record on. Before I let you go, let me know if you're a big, if you're Hootie and the Blowfish. First of all, I always hated that name, Hootie and the Blowfish. Like, it's just not a good name. Um, that's just my opinion. But let me leave your comments on this. I want to hear what you guys think of this album. And, um, you know, this is a huge seller, but I'm not feeling it. I'm still not feeling it. So, let's see how this song sounds. <laughs> sound good here you know maybe the way it's mixed I just think the electric guitars need to be a little louder and just it's just something missing for me. Anyway, that's my assessment. I'm not a huge Hootie and Blowfish fan, so that might just be my, just because I don't like the music that much uh i just think it sounds kind of lackluster missing life it doesn't the mix or something I, i'm not blaming the mastering or anything i think it sounds clear you can hear everything it's just something to me is missing that when you get those choruses and those things you should hear more guitar more everything should kind of have more cut cut through a little bit better and it just sounds like everything is just kind of you know Anyway, that's my assessment. And uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, if you're a Hootie and the Blowfish fan, let me know. And uh, that's all I got for you today. And I'll be doing some more record reviews. I got a lot of other ones coming up. So stick by 
uh, the YouTube, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that so that you'll know when new videos come out. And please comment. I love hearing you guys, your thoughts and what you think about all this stuff. So take care. Happy listening to you. And we'll talk to you later on. Take care.